Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. I want to start off with a quote today. Now the quote, the English is a little bit older and it was originally written in French. But oh gosh, it really speaks a good truth about what it means to be childlike. And it's by a guy named Francois Fenelon. Be free, simple as a child. Be a sturdy child who fears nothing, who speaks out frankly, who lets himself be led, who is carried in the arms. In a word, one who knows nothing, can do nothing, and can anticipate and change nothing, but who has a freedom and a strength forbidden to the great. This childhood baffles the wise and God himself speaks by the mouth of such children. And I wanted to tell you the story, and this is a true story of a friend of mine and his son. And two-year-old Sam loved his daddy with all his heart, and his favorite place to be was snuggled up in his dad's arms. Now, his dad taught in missionary schools around the world, and so he would go pretty long stretches without being home, but then he'd be home for quite a while. And the first thing little Sam would do was run up and snuggle into his daddy's arms. Every time that Randy left on such a trip, Sam's mom would patiently explain that although his dad needed to go away, he would return, as always. Randy did his best to stay in contact with little Sam, although this was in the days before there was FaceTime. One Saturday night, the family picked up Randy from the airport and then drove him straight into our monthly mission meeting. Little Sam arrived at the meeting tired, disappointed, and cranky. He was in the car seat when his dad was driving the car. His mother couldn't distract him during the meeting, so she ended up having to walk little Sam up and down in the hallways all the time while Sam was not a happy little camper. He'd also missed his nap that day. At one point, she set little Sam down just for a moment and there was her mistake. Little Sam raced back into the main room and ran up the center aisle and up onto the platform where his dad was speaking. Without breaking a stride or stopping mid-sentence, Randy scooped little Sam up into his arms and little Sam nestled his head underneath his daddy's chin and fell asleep within 30 seconds, I would say. All he had wanted was to hear his dad's heartbeat. As Sam grew, though, he did grow into be a sturdy little boy, the youngest child in the family of four. He was well able to assert himself around his older siblings, and he was a joy to be around. However, he never lost his need to be close to his dad. A one-armed hug or a gentle hand on his head was all he needed from his dad, and then he'd go off and do his own thing while his dad did his thing. But that tie was so close there, and it's actually their relationship brought a lot of healing in my own heart as I watched the way that they interacted because I never felt safe around my own dad in the way that Sam felt around his dad. Why don't you pray with me? Father God, help me to come to you as a little child, for it's in that place of childlike trust that I will find rest. And Lord, where my family may have wounded me and tainted my perception of who you are, Father, I open up my heart to the possibility that you are a good, good father. Isaiah 40 verse 11, this is the heart of God. He will lead his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and he will carry them in his bosom close to his chest so they can hear his heartbeat 
and gently lead those that are with young.